Working at the terminal, your tasks can change from hour to hour, putting you in various settings, creating different hazards. Always scan the environment for hazards and be proactive. Take steps to protect yourself and others. The incident you were about to see actually happened and resulted in the death of a longshore worker. Arnell, a yard tractor operator, is working on the dock. He's in line to get a discharge container. Matt, the dock boss, approaches Arnell, hands him paperwork, and directs Arnell to return to the yard to pick up a container. Matt turns and walks away. Arnell makes a U-turn to the left. The chassis Arnell is pulling strikes Matt and knocks him down. Matt is run over by the chassis. He dies later that day at the hospital. What went wrong with this situation? First, Arnell did not check his mirrors and keep Matt within his view as he drove away. If Arnell had, he would have been able to avoid hitting Matt. Arnell should not have driven away until he was sure Matt was in a safe area. Likewise, Matt should not have walked away and turned his back on the equipment. He should have stepped back from the yard tractor and waited for Arnell to drive away. Remember that there could be blind spots when maneuvering cargo handling equipment. These are areas where an operator cannot see pedestrians or obstacles that are in his path. Be sure you are aware of other workers you know are in the area before making any moves with your equipment. If you are a pedestrian, stay away from blind spots. If you cannot see the driver, he cannot see you. Both the operator and the pedestrian should anticipate where the yard equipment will move next. Matt distracted Arnell by requesting that he return to the yard. This was a change in work tasks, which resulted in Arnell losing focus on following regular safety procedures. Extra care and planning must be used when there are changes in the usual operations. Working in a cargo handling facility requires you to be flexible to changing tasks. Don't shortcut safety rules just because your task has changed. Always follow established traffic procedures. The danger zone is any place where you can get hurt. Between two moving pieces of equipment, between a moving piece of equipment and a stationary object, or by the equipment itself. You are in the danger zone if you are in the path of the rear wheels of a chassis. Keep in mind that chassis wheels track inside the path of the tractor's wheels when turning. You must adjust for this on turns. Even though Matt was in the safety lane, he turned his back on the equipment and ended up in the danger zone. Arnell and Matt did not communicate with each other about what would happen after Arnell was directed to return to the yard. They should have discussed the safest way to accomplish this new task. If you are a pedestrian, keep equipment and, if possible, operators working near you in view. Be sure you are aware of the position and movement of equipment around you. Never turn your back on the equipment. Always stay out of the danger zone. Don't move your position when equipment around you is also moving close by. Communicate with the equipment operator. Think about where the equipment will move next. If you are an equipment operator, keep pedestrians in view, especially when you are about to move your vehicle. Communicate what movements you are going to make with your equipment before making them. If you were the operator, how could you have prevented this incident? If you were the operator, you should keep pedestrians in view. Be aware of potential blind spots. Stay aware of your surroundings. Communicate effectively. Scan and focus. Be flexible to changes in usual operations. If you were the pedestrian, how could you have prevented this incident? 
If you are the pedestrian, you should keep the equipment in view. Never turn your back on the equipment. Stay out of the danger zone. Stay aware of your surroundings. Think about where the equipment will move next. A longshore worker died from a situation just like this. Don't let this happen to you. Equipment operators and pedestrians need to work together and communicate effectively at all times. Only you can prevent these tragedies and stay safe.